Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to remove the background from your t-shirt designs and images using the Canva Background Remover. With the Canva Background Remover, you can easily remove the background from any image with a single click. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. As print-on-demand sellers, we spend a lot of time creating awesome designs to add to our products. You want to make sure that you have all the tools that you need to create high-quality designs quickly and easily. One issue many designers face is how to remove the background from t-shirt designs or images that you wish to use for your designs. When creating t-shirt designs, for example, your artwork may be inside a white or colored rectangle box that you don't want to appear on your t-shirt. Removing the background before exporting your designs will help your artwork stand out more against the fabric color on your t-shirt. Also, you may want to cut an object out from an existing image to use for a new t-shirt design. So let's get started by going over the process of removing the background or colored rectangle from a t-shirt design with the Canva Background Remover. First, let's look at the menu up top and click on the Templates drop-down menu. From here, Let's look at the personal section and go down to t-shirt. This should take you to a page where you can view tons of different t-shirt templates that are available on Canva. Currently, they have over a thousand templates that you can use to create your designs and more are being added all the time. No matter what type of design you're trying to create, you can find a template to help you get started. But for this example, I'm just gonna start with a blank template. You should now be in the Canva editor where you can create and edit your designs. So let's upload a new t-shirt design I created and see if we can remove the background. To add my design to the template, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Uploads tab. From here, let's click on the Upload Media button, select to upload from device, then find the image I wish to add. Once the image finishes uploading, let's select it and drag it over to the template. There we go. As you can see, my t-shirt design has a blue rectangle box behind it that I want to get rid of before adding it to my t-shirts. Luckily, Canva has a background removal tool that works like magic. To remove the blue background, let's select the image, then we're going to look at the menu up top and click on the effects tab. This should open up a menu that shows you all sorts of effects that you can add to your image. But for this example, the effect we're looking for is the background remover. So make sure you have your image selected and let's click on background remover and see what happens. And voila, just like magic, the background has disappeared. Typically, the background remover works pretty much perfectly, but sometimes it may remove parts of the image that you wish to keep. To fix this, look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the restore option. This will allow you to restore any part of your image that's been removed. Simply select your brush size, then brush over the parts of the image you wish to restore. To erase parts of your image that the background remover may have missed, simply select the erase brush here, use the slider to select your brush size, then simply click and drag over the parts of your design you wish to erase. Once you're finished, go up to the top here and click on done. And there we have it. My background has been removed and my design is ready to be uploaded to my t-shirts. To export my new design, let's go up to the top menu here and click on the download button. In order to export your image with a transparent background, make sure your file type is set as PNG. You can also adjust the size of your design using the slider bar here. I think I'll set my design at 3000 pixels to make sure it looks clear on the t-shirt. You also have to make sure that you select the transparent background option. If I don't select transparent background, my image would simply have a white background now instead of the blue we started with. But in order to resize your image and add a transparent background, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. If you're not already signed up for Canva Pro, go ahead and click the link in the video description to try it out for free for 30 days. Not only will you be able to resize and remove the background from your images, but also access all the images, videos, and audios in the Canva Pro library, get access to tons of new fonts to use for your designs, 
access all the premium t-shirt design templates and tons of other tools and features that can help you build and grow your business. Even if you end up deciding to cancel, you can still make a lot of t-shirt designs in 30 days. Now that I've selected my PNG file type, resized my design, and selected transparent background, let's go ahead and click on download. Your design will then be rendered and downloaded to your computer. Now that my design is finished downloading, let's open it up and see how it looks. Not bad. The blue background that we started with has been removed and my design is now ready to be added to my print on demand platform, whether it's merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Teespring, or any other marketplace. With the background removed, my t-shirt design will stand out much more on the different colored shirts. So that's a quick overview of how to remove backgrounds from t-shirt designs using the Canva background remover. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.